So I'd love to talk with you today about Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. I want to share with you some details around assumption, around this particular principle that underpins our interaction with material reality. And I want to show you something that's quite nuanced, but when you understand this, you will unlock the power of the law of assumption. When you finally get this, this will be the key that opens the lock and the doorway leads straight into your next level. This will be the thing that makes all of the pieces fit together. So if you've wondered, if you've tried, if you've not gotten the results that you dream of, today is your day. Come on, let's kick into it. Well, hello, you beautiful soul, here with dreams to fulfill, and you'll get there. You will get there if you stay in your lane and you keep moving forward. The only reason people don't ever make it to their dreams is they decide to give up. And I know along life's journey, it can be tempting. It can be tempting to look at the body of evidence and say, this is just not happening for me. I know sometimes life can feel like a cruel trick. But you stay the course. Your dream is worth it. You've put in so much work. Don't give it all away now, friend. My name is Ben. Welcome to Elevate. I'm thankful for you. And every day you will find me here encouraging you. We love to talk about universal principles, the law of attraction, and like today, the law of assumption. You might say to me, Ben, what's the difference? What does it even mean? Is the, is the universe that pedantic about facts? Friends, everything is energy. We talk about that all of the time. There is nothing that exists from a word spoken to a mood felt, to a painting hanging on a wall, to a mobile phone in your hand, to the car that you drive and the clothes that you wear. There is nothing that is not composed entirely of energy. So when you understand how energy flows, when you understand its nuances and the way that it works, you begin to understand that energy is always in motion. It's not created or destroyed. It's flowing and changing form, taking on new form all of the time. And see, you have a role to play in the form that energy takes. For so many of us, life just feels like a set of random circumstances. It feels like every day we wake up in this world, in this environment, and we have darts fired at us from all directions and it's unpredictable. But that's not the truth of the matter at all, friend. You are supposed to be the creator of your own world. You are supposed to create your reality as you move through it day by day. And do you know what? That's exactly what every one of us does even when we are unaware of it. See, Neville Goddard, one of his most per pertinent, popular, powerful teachings was the law of assumption. And so many people think, oh yeah, okay, the law of assumption, I know about that, or I'll learn a little bit about that. And they never really get any traction with it, but it's very simple. It's not a rule book you have to follow. It's a statement of fact about how the universe works. Did you catch that? The law of assumption is not a rule book you have to follow. It's the rule book that tells you how the universe operates and how you can integrate with that. See, an assumption is any belief that is held as fact, counted on as being true without a body of proof. Any fact counted on as being true, held as true, believed upon, without a body of evidence to support it. That's what an assumption is. Therefore, when you assume, it means the energy is that of believing that to be the case. I assume it's going to be a lovely day today. That means I believe that it's going to be a lovely day and I have no beliefs of the opposing end of the spectrum. I believe that this weekend, these are the things that I will do. And I assume that because that's what I intend to do. When you make an assumption about something or someone and it's wrong, Sometimes you feel a little bit foolish about having made that assumption because when you learn that that assumption was wrong, you think, oh my gosh, I held that as true. This is the difference between where most people sit in their world and those who actually get the dreams of their heart fulfilled. 
those who get the dreams of their heart fulfilled recognize the power in assumption. Every day, every one of us is making assumptions and our reality is bending and shaping and being formed in the image and the likeness of those assumptions. Every day. Think about it. What are you assuming? We are so used to our assumptions that we don't even recognize the damage they do in our life. We assume that we are going to have issues with those people at work. We assume that today is going to be difficult because of that. We assume that we're going to feel pain in our body here because of that. We assume that we're going to have these difficulties or those financial problems or those issues in a relationship or those problems with a friend. We assume that there's going to be bills in the post when we get home. We assume that that new car is going to be too expensive. We assume we're never going to be able to afford our dream house. We assume we work till 65 and retire and die. We assume that life is just a cruel set of tricks played upon us, a random set of circumstance. We make all these assumptions and they are made at a subconscious level and that makes it even worse because we don't get a say in that part of the operating system. That is just making assumptions on our behalf because we have become a product of our experience and for all of these years our lives have been lived in the assumption of these things and it has become a subconscious pattern. So now we assume every day that we're going to have dramas at work and problems with this and difficulties with that, not quite enough money and that weight's going to be hard to shift and whatever these things might be. And we have these subconscious assumptions that form our physical reality. Friends, can I invite you this week to do a 180? To put yourself firmly back in the driver's seat, grab a hold of the steering wheel and steer this baby to where you want it. Because if you want your dreams fulfilled, all you have to do is start making the assumption that the pathway you're on right now is the pathway that unfolds in the dream manifesting. All you have to do is begin assuming that even the things that don't make sense will serve you. Begin assuming that even though the material made manifest in your reality doesn't look like it's heading in the direction you want, assume that it is. That means you know without proof that it is. You don't need the proof. You know it's unfolding as it should. And that's what the universe does. As you begin to do this, you begin to change the direction of the flow of energy in your life. And instead of your assumptions creating the reality where you're trapped, and you don't have enough, and you're in repeating cycles, and you don't get the results you dream of, your assumptions will start working for you. You will begin to see a body of proof and evidence that the assumptions you held as true are now in fact being shown as true by the wonder and the might of the universe. It's not magic, it's alignment. And that's all it is. If you want to move forward into the direction of your dreams, you have to start assuming that the world is working for you, not against you. That it's happening for you and not to you. That the things you don't understand, you don't have to understand. Maybe one day you will. Maybe one day you won't. But you have to be okay with that. You have to begin assuming the end into being and letting the universe figure out what happens in the middle. See, the middle is not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to keep your eyes firmly on the prize. Assume that baby into being. Stay focused on that dream. The universe will unfold exactly as it should in the intervening periods. And your assumption will make way for you. Now, I love you, friend. I hope that this has blessed you today. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it around, and come and visit me tomorrow. See you then.